Hi everyone, I'm Alan Stokel. Did you know that Joshua Slocum, the first man to sail solo around the world in 1895, had competition in the person of a woman, Jean Beret, who began a circumnavigation of the world in 1766? Joshua Slocum was born on February 20th, 1844, and died on or shortly after November 14th, 1909. He was the first man to sail single-handedly around the world. He was born in Nova Scotia, Canada, but was a naturalized American seaman and adventurer, and a noted writer. In 1900, he wrote a book about his journey sailing alone around the world, which became an international bestseller. Jean Barret was born on July 27, 1740, and passed away on August 5, 1807. Disguised as a man, she circumnavigated the globe in 1766, becoming the first woman to do so. Barret was a most unlikely sea woman. At some point between 1760 and 1764, Barret became employed as a housekeeper to naturalist Philbert Commerson, who had settled in toulon sur aro After his marriage in 1760, Commerson's wife died two years later in childbirth and in April 1762, and it seems most likely that Barret took over management of Commerson's household at that point. It's strongly believed that Beret and Commerson shared more than uh, the average personal relationship as Beret became pregnant in 1764. Now, at that time, French law required women who became pregnant out of wedlock, or while they were not married, to obtain a certificate of pregnancy in which they could name the father of their unborn child. Beret's certificate from August of 1764 shows that she refused to name the father. Later, the two moved to Paris together. And this is where the story gets really strange. Louis Antoine de Bougainville was uh, putting together a colonial expedition on the ships La Baudus and Etoile in 1766 to 1769. Commerson was invited to join the Bougainville's expedition as a botanist and doctor. He hesitated in accepting because he was often in poor health, requiring Beret's assistance as a nurse. His appointment allowed him a servant, paid as a royal expense. But women were completely prohibited on French Navy ships at this time. Believe it or not, they were thought to be bad luck. At some point, the idea of Beret's disguising herself as a man in order to accompany Commerson was conceived. To avoid scrutiny, she was to join the expedition immediately before the ship sailed, pretending to be a stranger to Commerson. She devoted herself to assisting Commerson as the ship's doctor and botanist. Her behavior was exemplary, and Monsieur de Bougainville asked the Crown to grant her a pension of 200 livres a year. Each livre was uh, thought to be worth about a pound of silver. Joshua Slocum was born on February 20th, 1844, in Mount Hanley, Annapolis County, Nova Scotia. He was the fifth of 11 children to John and Sarah Jane Slocum, Knee Southern. Joshua descended on its father's side from Quakers who left the United States shortly after 1780 because of their opposition to the American War of Independence. The Slocums were granted 500 acres or about two square kilometers of farmland in Nova Scotia's Annapolis County. During his time as a merchant seaman, Slocum freely traveled the world on ships containing goods. Nowhere near as big, but much like the container ships of today. 
Around 1767, he had moved to San Francisco and became the master of eight different ships at various times. By then, women were allowed on board and his wife and later children traveled with him. They survived shipwrecks, mutinies, a murder charge, and bankruptcies. This sounds like another movie plot. At any rate, by 1890s, he'd managed to recreate himself as a solo adventurer. In Fairhaven, Massachusetts, he rebuilt the 36-foot or 11-meter um, gaff rig sloop named Spray. He wrote in his log, I have resolved on a voyage around the world, and as the wind of the morning of April 24th, 1895 was fair at noon, I weighed anchor, set sail, and filed away from Boston where the spray had been moored snugly all winter. In his diary he wrote, the 12 o'clock whistles were blowing just as the sloop shot ahead under full sail. A short board was made up the harbor on the port tack. Then coming about, she stood to seaward with her boom well off to port and swung past the ferries with lively heels. Slocum managed to uh, take advantage of the media giant of the late 19th century, the press or newspapers. It was the social media of the day, and although much slower than the internet, it transmitted to a large audience a mixture of news, politics, and sp As he made his journey around the world, he was greeted as royalty, enjoying the hospitality of kings and naval institutions almost everywhere he went in the civilized world, and often was greeted as a hero by the inhabitants of entire islands. He began giving speeches of his adventures as he traveled, and on his return, he wrote that book, Sailing Alone Around the World. It's a great read, by the way, a story of pirates, hostile tribes, and even a navigator ghost who sails spray during an illness. Joshua Slocum disappeared during his annual trip to the Caribbean in November of uh, 1909 while aboard his beloved boat, the Spray. Barre, on the other hand, stayed with Commerson in Mauritius uh, as he was ill. Commerson died in Mauritius in February of 1773, and Barre stayed on bought a pub, and on May 17, 1774, she married Jean Dubernat, a non-commissioned officer in the French army. They later returned to France, completing the world's first circumnavigation of the earth by a woman. She died on August 5, 1807. As one could imagine, there has been quite some controversy about her life. But recently, a new biography by Daniel Claude called In Search of the Woman Who Sailed the World was published in 2020. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe, check out our Patreon page, give us a thumbs up and subscribe, but, or do just one. <laughs> Listen, during the time of the pandemic, wearing a mask when you're in public spaces, uh, or when you're closer than two meters or six feet from other people, is a really good thing to do, and it's very unselfish because you're protecting others. I'm Alan Stokel. Thank you so much for watching. Fair winds, everyone, and stay safe.